Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to sort an array of a list box in ascending and descending order using VBA user forum. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the output. Notice this is the original data. We have sorted the data in the alphabetic order A, B, C, D, E, F, G like that. So notice here we got in a descending order the original data and this is the data is in the reverse order. And if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating one blank workbook and here we got one book on Excel sheet. Now in order to create a user forum, for that go to developer and a developer there is a visual basic, click that one. And here we've got the visual basic for applications. Now let's add one user forum, for that go to insert, click user forum. And here we've got the user forum, designing more. Let me expand this user forum and also I'm keeping this toolbox aside. Now let's add one to list box from this toolbox. I'm adding one list box here. Now my aim is I will add one array of I'll create one array of list items which are the employee names. That employee names I want to bind or populate in this list box. So select the user form, right click the mouse, go to view code. And here we got the code behind window. By default, it will rise a click event, but we require the user forum procedure uh, user forum initialize event here we got the initialize event now we don't require any more this click event let's read that one now let's define an array for that i'm using dim emp name as variant after that employee name is equals to array let's add some items in this array Employee names Charan, uh, Charan, Ben, Raju, Lalita, Jen, Vijay, Anita. Just for the demo purpose, I have added some list of items in this employee name array. Now let's bind this employee name into the list box. We have already added that list box. The list box name is a list box one dot list is equals to employee name. Now let's check the output. This array of items is binded into this list box or not. Run this application and here we got the output. The array of items is binded into this list box. Now let's close this user forum. Now my condition is I will add one more list box control. The second list box control it will sort the whatever the values in this list box items it will display in the ascending A B C D in order alphabetic order or descending order it depends on our the requirement will write the code. So let's add one more list box. Now select the user forum. Let's continue the code. The code is first we require the uh, array of boundaries, lower bound and upper bound of this array. The lower bound of an array is index of an array, which is zero, and upper bound is last item of an array, uh, index of an array which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, U bound is 6 and L bound is 0 of this array. So, for that we require one variable. Let's add I. Let's add I. For loop, for I is equals to L bound takes a string EMP name. EMP name to U bound EMP name. Let's close the 
for loop with next style now here the logic starts from here we got after we got the lower bound and upper bound of an array now the main logic comes here to swap the data uh, sorting the data we require one more variable here j first condition is for j is equals to i2 again u bound of emp name let's close this for loop j if condition now we've got two variables i and j i want to check the data is in alphabetic order for that i'm using l case lower case and upper case if you want to use u case or if you want to use l case you can use one of the conditions but here i'm using l case if l case of l case takes a string employee name employee name i we got the data in i know of this array is greater than i want to lower bound i lower bound i to j l case emp name j then let's close the if condition and if now this condition will check with the original array of the list items if the data is not in alphabetic order it will swap the data so for that we require one more variable called sort emp sort emp sort emp is equals to emp name j again emp name j i am adding this j values into emp i values emp swapping the data emp i then emp name i contains a sort emp so this logic whatever we have written the code in this if condition the employee name j values we are adding into the sort emp after that we are swapping the data from j values to i and that i values uh, we are adding in the emp name i val i now the last step list box 2 we have already added the list box 2 dot list is equals to emp name that's it now let's check the output and here we got the output notice this is a original data we have sorted the data in the alphabetic order a b c d e f j like that now let's check in the descending order the descending order is very simple instead of greater than let's add less than it will be reverse let's check the output so notice here we got in a descending order the original data and this is the data is in the reverse order and z to a that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to sort an uh, array of a list box in ascending and descending order thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial